Hello friends, in today's question, a uniform wooden stick of mass 1.6 kg of length L rests in a inclined manner on a smooth vertical wall of height h such that a small portion of stick extends below the wall. The reaction force of the wall on the stick is perpendicular to the stick. The stick makes an angle of 30 degree with the wall and the bottom of stick is on a rough floor. The reaction of the wall on the stick is equal in magnitude to the reaction of the floor on the stick. The ratio H upon L and the frictional force F at the bottom of the stick are. So in this case, let's draw the diagram. So we have a horizontal floor and there is a wall and let us suppose the height of the wall is given as h a stick which is inclined at the angle of 30 degree of the wall like this and this angle is given as 30 and the total length of the stick is given as l this is the total length l Total length L, okay, and it is given that there is a friction between the floor and the stick, and there is a normal reaction between the wall and the stick is perpendicular like this. Let us suppose that is N, and it is also given that the reaction between the floor and the wall it is same so this reaction let us suppose is also n f is the frictional force this angle will be 60 and in the downward direction here there will be mg and this mg will be equal to l by 2 from here and we assume that the distance between this normal and the bottom of the stick letter letter point a b this is x okay. this is the basic question and we are supposed to find out ratio of h upon l the total length of the stick and the height of the wall and the frictional force F. Okay. So in this case, let us say the stick is in equilibrium with the wall, or we can say system is in equilibrium. The wooden stick is in equilibrium. then for let us find out the equations for the vertical equilibrium as well as horizontal equilibrium and this normal can be divided into two parts this will be our n cos of 30 n cos of theta and this will be n sine of theta <coughs> so for vertical equilibrium we have two forces n n sin theta and mg so in the upper direction we are having 2 n plus n sin theta so we can say n plus n sin theta is downward direction is our mg taking n as common and substituting the relative values we get n 1 plus 
sine of 30 and it is given as 1.6 multiplied by 10 so from here we can say that n sine 30 is 1 by 2 so this is 16 and we can say that our n will be coming equal to 32 divided by 3 newtons So this will be the normal n and let us write for the horizontal equilibrium and for horizontal equilibrium we have f and n cos theta we can say that our f will be equal to n cos of theta value of n we already know is 32 by 3 and this will be cos of 30 this will be coming at 32 by 3 multiply by cos 30 is root 3 by 2 and this goes over 16 so we get the force of the friction F will be coming equal to a 16 root 3 divided by 3. So this is the force of friction. This is the force of friction at the bottom of stick which is point A that is point A so this completes the first part In the second part ratio of H upon L so let us say we are going to um, take the torque let us say this point is B this point is C <clears throat> so taking torque about AC we can write equation that mg multiply by AC is equal to normal n and the perpendicular distance which we assume is x so we can write this as m is given as 1.6 multiplied by 10 and ac ac is our l by 2 cos of 60 so ac is our l by 2 cos of 60 is equal to n we already know n is 32 by 3 multiply by x so we can say this is 16 l divided by 2 so this will be coming as 8 l and multiply by cos of 60 which will be coming 1 by 2 and this will be equal to 32 by 3 multiply by x and this goes further by 16 and we are left with sorry let me do it again this will be coming as 16 multiply by l by 2 multiply by 1 by 2 is equal to 32 by 3 multiply by x so here i can say that my x is equal to this goes 8 this goes 4 and 
this goes by 8. So I can say my x is equal to 8 by 3 times L. 3 by 8. Yeah, x. x is equal to 3 by 8 times L. Now we can use find out what is the relationship between h and l or rather we can say h and x okay. so we can see our h upon x will be equal to we can say our x is equal to h cos of 60 